Are you still leaving tickets for Elvis, Jerry? No, I just I, I bring them with me. What do you mean you bring him with you? you, you... He, he, he's at practice with me, and I take him to the games. Oh. He, he's got his own his own pass. So when was the last time that you left a ticket for Elvis? Oh, man, I guess we were playing New England in Memphis in a preseason game, and uh, Raymond Berry was their head coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, the halftime was dedicated to him at Memphis, and, and June said, well, if we dedicated the halftime to him, we might as well leave him a ticket. And that thing sort of took a life of its own after that. <laughs> it's so how many tickets in your career did you leave aggregate one, for Elvis? One game, person? and how about this? Yeah. I, I walked into the Falcons, yeah. and on the left, they have a hall of whatever they call it, hall of fame, whatever they call it, the Falcons. And there's a Jerry Glanville section. I go over to the Jerry Glanville section to read it. In the hall of fame section, in the Atlanta Falcon building, says, and Jerry Glanville left two tickets for Elvis for every game. I never did it one time. Are you, you serious? Think, yeah, you would think where I worked would get it right. But the Internet, the Internet says different. And if it's on the Internet, it's the truth. It's like CNN, fake news every day. So you, ne <laughs> so you never left a ticket for Elvis Presley except that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. In Memphis. That's it. That one time, then. One time. That one time. All right, last one for you, then, Jerry. Uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, Wired moments in the history of NFL films is you telling uh, somebody that the NFL stood for not for long. Do you, do you have a CFL? What CFL stands for? No, but I better get one because the officiating hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> I better find one. I didn't know where that one came. That's the first time, by the way, I ever said that in my life. I was I was so mad. And what caused it the week before, we were playing the Broncos, and Elway went off on a scramble, and Johnny Meads was my star outside linebacker, and he didn't want to hit the quarterback. He thought, And the quarterback went straight in on him, blew his knee, sent him to surgery. So the next game, we're in Tampa, and I told all the linebackers, the quarterback goes out on a scramble, protect yourself, hit him, don't let him hit you. And we bumped the quarterback, and that's when the guy threw the flag. And I asked if he was a Bula Bula official. Uh, the last game he did before he did that program was a Vanderbilt homecoming, which, of course, they play at six a year. So, so uh, th that's the kind of people you deal with. Not for he long. He ran a pet store. He, he ran a pet store <laughs> Monday through Thursday. <laughs> and then he threw flags on you on Sunday. That's yeah. What you're Oh, my God. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.